Yo, what up, man? Chris and my checking back in, man. Back on the blog, man. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button on your way in, man. This is the top seven battlers of 2021. This was kind of hard to do, man, because it's a lot of people that had good years, man. When you really look at people's resumes and look at, you know, somebody that won't, that there's a lot of people that you wouldn't even think would, would be in the top 10 that you like, yo, when you sit back and look, you like, Yo, he's definitely worthy of being in the top 10, bro. I want to know what y'all think, man. You know, this is not anything I'm doing for Jay Black, a champion of the year. I don't have no no uh, ballot or nothing to turn in and give the Black. This is just my personal opinion. I was always doing ballot of the year type blogs before. So this, this is really nothing new. But shout out to Champion. Shout out to Black and everything he got going on there. And I do feel like, you know, they're going to come up with whoever the winner is. So we're going to see. Coming in at number seven, this guy. Probably didn't have the ending of the year as well as he would like, but he definitely had a good year. Real sick. Shout out to Real Sick, man. You know what I'm saying? He had probably five or six battles this year, man. I got him right here. Let me just run down. He battled Mike P. That was a good battle. I got him beating Mike P. Okay, cool. He battled Arsenal. That was a great battle. I got him beating Arsenal. He kind of he kind of did Arsenal dirty. I ain't gonna even lie. He kind of did Arsenal dirty. Uh, he battled Danny Myers. He cut Danny Myers' run off. He made Danny Myers quit in the third round. He basically knocked Danny Myers out of champion of the year contention because he was really the the number one guy for champion of the year until he battled real sick. Like I hate when people bring up your kids because they don't talk about the ones you abandoned. You meet a new kid every event. But facts, every event. <laughs> but you ain't find them. They had to look for you and hit you up on your social media like they was booking you. If you're one of his lost kids, you got to request his business team. Can't call, hit his IG, then you get to meet. You treat them like little leagues. The message is they shouldn't have to hit Danny Myers DM initially. This whole time. I feel like people are dropping Danny a little too much. Because there's some, you know, they dropping Danny a little too much. Huh? You know, that's maybe another blog. But I do feel like it kind of killed him for being champion of the year. It just, it, just, it just did. So shout out to him. So those were three very impressive wins to start. After that, he battled DNA, Pat Stay, and Av. I do feel like he lost all three of those battles. I do feel like he doesn't choke. He come with three rounds. And sometimes you're just not better than your opponent. So I don't want to act like he didn't have good battles. Him and Ab is a very good battle. Um, Ab just kind of got through it or whatever. They end up winning, you know, two of those rounds. DNA battle was pretty good. Uh, Pat State battle was good. You know what I'm saying? That was also good. But Pat State is very hard to beat, very well rounded, a lot of jokes and everything. It's no slouch to lose to Pat State. So even though. You could look at his year with six battles and say, oh, he also had a two-on-two -two with a... Uh, he kind of got smoked in that. I ain't going to lie. Him and B-Dot got smoked by Kid Chaos and Arsenal. So, But uh, that was a kind of a weird matchup, too. At, you know, it's real sick in B-Dot. I, I really don't wouldn't have put that together. So you got one West Coast dude versus a dude all the way in Jersey. So I, I don't know. But uh, So I ain't going to hold that really against him. You look at his year for, for battles, he has six battles, he's like three and three, but I still feel like he solidified himself this year. I got him coming in at number seven. Next on my list, man, this guy right here, one of the best comebacks in battle rap, bro. One of the best comebacks in battle rap. Chess. I got Chess coming in at number six, man. He actually could be higher. Only reason why he's not higher, he really didn't have a whole lot of battles, but I give Chess a lot of credit, man, because... We was on Chess hard for choking, man. We were definitely on him hard for choking. He battled John John at Genesis. He did not do well. He battled K Shine, I think, at Gnome or Summer Madness. This is like a couple years ago. He did not do well at all. And it was kind of like he battled B Magic in, in an app only event URL, edited out most of his chokes. He didn't do well at all. So for a while, it was just like, it just really wasn't. I think I had him on a stock drop list last year, if I'm keeping it real with you. So Chess, for Chess to come back and have flawless battles is impressive to me. He battled Kid Chaos. That was a good battle. You know what I'm saying? I think I got him winning that battle. He battled Loso. Very, very good battle. That's one of the best battles this year, bro. Him and Loso won the best battles this year. Got him edging that battle. And giving him no sympathy. I'm going to catch a battery charge if I ain't feeling low energy. 
pistol whipping to the storage pool. No memory. If I chop the body, I got to bag it up. No diggity. Oh, oh, he battled easy. Definitely probably the best battle this year. That's probably number one. So right there, out of like the top 10 battles, this dude got like two of them. He battled easy. Definitely battle of the year contender, if not the best battle of 2021. And the app has easy barely winning, but it's really debatable. It can go either way. I can't, I'm not going to sit here and just be like easy one. It can go either way. The crazy verse, that's a classic battle. Stand the test of time. URL really should have dropped that on YouTube instead of dropping K-Shine and Hollow. That would have been crazy. It would have been a good look for both of them too. You know what I'm saying? As far as up and coming gunners. Any battle Charlie Clips. I do have a losing the clip, so I do have a losing one time this year for sure. And that is Chess Year, man. But salute to Chess, man. He got big things. He got a lot of battles that, that he could do this year that would be great. You know what I'm saying? He come back. He got to be one of the comeback like player of the year. If we were doing like NBA type stuff, so come, comeback battle of the year. Like he really had a very impressive year. But this dude coming in at number five, this dude was in contention to be number one at one point in time. But to me, I just feel like I don't think that he ended the year as well as he should have. Rum Nitty. Shout out to Rum Nitty, man. You know what I'm saying? Rum Nitty did have a very impressive year. I can argue Rum Nitty ain't lost a battle this year. He ain't lost a battle. He battled Cortez in the tournament, Drugs in the tournament, Sirius Jones in the tournament, I know a lot of people, that's very controversial. A lot of people felt like Sirius Jones got cheated. I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, he moved on. I'm not mad he, he moved on. I'm not going to say he got cheated. He uh, recently battled Luke Castro. He battled Hollow. And he battled Gishi Gotti. With the who? Do what with what? Mortal Kombat. You'll see me duck first before I give up a cut. I'm a fuck up. <laughs> The Glock came with a ladder. I don't care who around. I be done shot you on a camera. If you do split it, I'm just gonna rob you for it after. <laughs> you better give up everything I need a baker, get caught up in the rapture, clap him. Those are his battles. And if I'm not mistaken, he probably won every one of them. I think the Geechee battle was never really judged per se, but he, he's beating Luke Castro. That just dropped like a week ago. He beat Luke Castro on the app and he has one of the best app records, period, bro. I think he only has like three or four losses on the app. No more than five, definitely on the app. And he got like, bro, he got a lot of battles on the app, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I, look, I was looking at his record like 20, like 23 and five or something. I'm like, that nigga got 28 battles. He really has blown up in COVID, bro. Like, I guess URL coming to the West Coast had given him so many battles that he had just battled everybody now. And he also battled Rex. I can't even, I can't leave Rex off. He battled Rex too. The problem with Rum Nitty, because at one point in time, Rum Nitty was number one or up there. The Geechee battle, crazy. Him and Geechee was crazy, bro. That, that, that was crazy. That was actually, that, that's one of the best battles this year too. That, that's in a running for one of the best battles. I don't like the way Rum Nitty's year ended, man. I thought he got lackluster. I thought maybe he battled too much or something. He just seemed like his punches were just, just, you know, scale to one to 10. And, you know, normally he kind of like on, on like an eight, nine with the punches. He was more so like a five, six, six, seven on, with the punches. Did not like his hollow battle. I got to keep it real with you. I did not like his, uh, um, Rex battle. I got to keep it real with you. The Lou Castro battle. I have not watched yet. I do. I did look on the app before I did his blog. He is winning that battle. I haven't watched it yet. Um, some people saying that, that maybe Luke Castro might have actually edged it, even though he ain't winning on the app. But I did not like his Rex and Hollow battle. You know, I actually gave Hollow the battle. I got to be honest with you. I actually got him losing to Hollow. But I looked on the app and he's barely beating Hollow. When I say barely, bro, I mean like it might be about Hollow may have like Rum Nitty may have like a thousand two hundred votes, twelve hundred votes. Right. And Hollow has like. 1170 like that's just how close it is like separated by like 30 or 40 votes so it's really a debatable battle but i actually gave the battle battle to hollow and um i feel like rum nitty I, I don't really know what happened with his battles at the end of the year if i'm being honest with you you know i can't say he lost but he he was he wasn't wowing about it very little replay value on the last half of his year for his battles and that's why he's where he at coming in at number four this dude 
This dude, another dude, comeback, comeback person of the year. Probably is the comeback person of the year. Sue Surf. Shout out to Surf, man. I could not put Surf in my top three, bro. It's just people that have done too much work, and it's people that have done too much work throughout the year. You know what I'm saying? I know Surf battled John John. A lot of people got him winning 3-0. I know he battled Calico. A lot of people got him winning 3-0. And I know he battled Twerk. And a lot of people got him winning 3-0. You look at them count, look at that competition and you say, that's super crazy. You know what I'm saying? I actually got him losing one round to Calico and being eight and one in nine rounds, but he's running with this. He is in spaces running with this nine and oh narrative pretty heavy. And I can't really argue it at the end of the day because a lot of people feel like he done his thing. My hitman still vegan. He be Shit is in his head. Still don't like the meat, but gotta eat. So I send him bread. accent Bailey. I don't know what the nigga said. Stake out. He gonna wait. Watch better than Jenny. He just like results. Results is usually niggas dead. Last op need help to shit him. He gonna shit his bed. His arms strong. Everywhere he go, he gotta lift his legs. Before 218, new niggas wasn't on the radar twerk. I mean, the painting is a painting. I just wouldn't say y'all surf. In the streets, I'm Van Gogh. Picasso, they don't even hang y'all work. Brush me wrong. I paint pictures with this AR twerk. But I can't reward you for getting it popping in the last three months of the year. I just can't reward you that high. There's no way you could be champion of the year. And you only really got popping after October. You know what I'm saying? October on. So, I, I mean, I really, really can't do that. The early part of the year, the nigga wasn't even battling. It wasn't even like he was, he wasn't even lacing up his boots, bro. He wasn't even going to work. He wasn't even lacing up his boots. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, how, what, how, what can I really do for you? Like, it's niggas that really was putting in pain and putting in work. And not only, it wasn't like he was battling and just not good and then got popping. You wasn't even in the field. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't even in the field. So, but shout out to Surf. I do feel like, um, he still had, a, had an incredible year, bro. An incredible year. And, um, I expect big things for him this year. I expect him to continue doing whatever he's doing with this midnight madness. Um, but on a battles tip, I think he'll probably get a mook. You know, he may do a rematch with somebody, maybe a verb or somebody down the road. But I see him getting that big mook battle that he's always wanted at the end of the day, man. And um, maybe even hop on a hop on the Kings versus Queens. You know what I'm saying? He'd be talking trash with like people like official and stuff like that. So we we don't know, man. But I think the mook battle is coming down the, down the, uh, the is coming down down a little trail for for surf. And I don't know, Mook. You might need to duck that smoke, bro. You might need to duck that smoke. I gotta keep it real with you. Right, coming in at number three, this guy, one of my favorite battles, man. I gotta keep it real with you. One of my favorite battles to watch, man. This dude is electrifying. Easy to block captain. Shout out Easy to Block Captain, man. Had an incredible year. He is undefeated on the app at nine and oh, bro. Nine and oh, he's undefeated. And that's pretty astounding because the nigga lost in the Ultimate Madness tournament versus Fonz. Got on the app, nigga say he winning. So he's nine and oh on the on the uh on the app, bro. You think you more lyrical than me? Fuck you, nigga. I pull up on a nigga. My style like fighting and I'm winning. I punch and talk to a nigga. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? He started the year battling T Top. A lot of people felt like he beat T-Top 3-0. This was after he battled Cortez in 2020. A lot of people felt like he won that battle. He ended, comes into the year, he battles T-Top in January, and it just starts his year, bro. From T-Top, he did a two-on-two. -two. That was that was pretty good, him and Rock versus Geechee and Swamp. Did a two-on-two. -two. Never never paired up with Rock before, but that was actually one of the better two-on-twos on the card. He battled K-Shine, Chess, and Rex. The rest of the year, man. And this dude has just been putting on his mark and doing his thing, bro. Putting on his mark and doing his thing. It's going to be hard to beat easy to block captain, bro. At some point in time, though, when you look at his drug talk and you look at his, uh, his gun talk, it kind of reminds me. I said this in a blog before. It kind of reminds me of T top. At one point in time, T top looked invincible. He looked invincible. He was doing his, his, his kingpin stories and he was running through the UFF tournament, beating Dodd and, and Briz and Snow and all these people. Came to URL. He beat Serve. He came to URL. I think he beat Suge. He was just beating people. He was just beating people, bro. He came to URL and continued doing what he had been doing all the time on Spit That Heat. He kept beating people and then he ran into goods. And this is the thing with battling people that are completely different than you. 
they start to tear down a lot of things about you. It's going to be very interesting watching. I was talking to Goods recently. You know what I'm saying? Me and me, I'm going to shoot some text back to each other. He really don't feel like easy is good at all, bro. He just, he literally texted me. He was like, yo, I do not see what y'all see in easy to block captain. So for me, I feel like he's very confident. And he said he's coming outside because he's tired of these niggas, bro. He's tired of these niggas, you know, thinking that, you know, easy is this world beater. So I think easy to block captain versus goods is going down. Goods is the kind of guy, I'm not going to say he's going to win the battle because he's not going to be favorite. He's never favorite in his battles. That's really nothing new. He's not going to be favorite, but it's going to take somebody different, bro. Somebody like Shine, who does a lot of gun bars and street talk. You ain't going to out gun bar and out street him. And I think he's so, he has a lot of authenticity to him that people are just buying into him, kind of like how they do Geechee. So you ain't going to be able to beat him like that. Okay. He's battled everybody like that. Look down the list. T-Top, Street, Gumbar, Kingpin, K-Shine, Street, Gumbar, Chess, Street, Gumbar, Rex, Street, Gumbar. He's going to have to battle someone completely different and more well-rounded. You know what I'm saying? Him and Awar would be interesting just because Awar ain't going to battle him like these other guys. Him and Goods is different because Goods is going to strip him. You know what Goods did to T-Top when he battled T-Top? He made T-Top's kingpin tails. He just emphasized that this is all he does. And even though we knew that this was all T-Top does, the way Goods broke it down made us look like, wow. It was kind of like we already knew Clips did four bar buildups. But when Hollow did, you know, you just a four candy bar rapper with four bars, you a Kit Kat. Everybody was like, wow, I think it is a four bar dude. He made T, he, he exposed T Top Kingpin rhymes and that all he does. And we looked at it differently. And on the main stage, T Top ended up losing that battle. It may look different on camera, but I was in the building. He definitely didn't win in the building. That I do know. So I feel like Goods is going to battle him differently. And it'll take a battler like Goods to beat him. Maybe someone that's super well-rounded. Clips is well-rounded. He has jokes and a whole bunch of other stuff. He can be well-rounded too. I'm not really sure the four-bar builder is going to beat him either. But he's definitely more well-rounded. Um, I'm trying to think of like other people on URL that he hasn't battled. It's just going to take someone that's. That's kind of different. You know, him and Bill Collective could be pretty good. Bill Collective, very unorthodox. It takes them kind of battlers to probably be the easy to block captain. But I don't see it. Unless these niggas are signing up to battle. All these other niggas that have been calling them out and doing diss tracks on Head Eyes, Big T, Calico. I don't think none of these niggas can beat him, bro. I don't think none of these niggas can beat him. And shout out to Cal. I like Cal. I think it'll be a good battle. But I, I still probably got Cal losing that battle. Uh, coming in at number two. This dude. One of the best battlers in battle rap, man. And finally getting the respect he deserves. A-Ward. I got A-Ward number two on my list, bro. I do not see how anybody could have him lower than three. Personally. Personally, I don't see it. But I'll be respectful. Top five. But really, if you really look at his rest, bro, let me tell you who this nigga has battled, bro. He battled K Prophet, Queen of the Ring. He battled Ryder on some league. I don't know the name of the league. Salute to the league, though. He went to Battle Academy, if I'm not mistaken. He battled Suge. I think it might have been Battle Academy. He battled Riggs in Georgia. He battled Lou Castro. He battled Rosenberg Raw, Ill Will, RBE. Battled Arsenal. Out in Cleveland, Ohio. Battle Charlie Clips in Cleveland, Ohio. The problem with A-Ward's year, he has a lot of one-round battles. Him and Ryder, one round. Him and Clips, one round. Him and Arsenal, one round. Him and uh, Shook, one round. He has a lot of one-rounders. Can I ask y'all a question? Sure. Are y'all still gripping grain and switching lanes? Yeah. Y'all still riding on four bows and tipping frames and sipping drink? That's something I love about Texas. It's unique from the music to the vintage slang. So answer me this. How come none of y'all told Jay Black to pick a different name? <laughs> Champion! <laughs> 
This dude is fragile. Why do you choose the hassle? You got two one-rounders. Nobody ever clicked the bell on or queued the channel. How your name Jay Black and you can't find people to review your battles. Champion! Oh. This dude literally told his opponent, in the streets, I'm known for everything. Drugs. I'll be trying to flood the city. I hurricane. Fire! Talking through my round. He talk, they all talking through my round. Trying to play me, fam. That's crazy. Damn. I'm here for Jay Black, not these angry fans. I'm that nice. This man literally said, I be trying to flood the city. I hurry Kane. That is very lame. You should have said we in the trap watching for warnings like the feds got Sandy and Irma, white girl wrecking houses and all type of wet. That's how you write the best. You can't get strong winds with watered down material inside your head. Our hurricane bars are in different categories based off what Ida said. This guy is dead. But one thing I respect, bro, this dude has been on small leagues. He's been on the main stage with Max Howard. He's been on small leagues. He battled a female. He went to Queen of the Ring and battled a female in Atlanta. He has done it all. He's been in every mom and pop shop except URL, bro. And when you really look at his year, he's had a great year. I'm looking at this list. I'm like, who beat this dude? He cooked Lou Castro. When I say cook, bro, he cooked Lou Castro 3-0. Riggs battle. Good battle. He beat Rosenberg Raw, in my opinion. He beat Ill Will, in my opinion. He beat Arsenal. Him and Charlotte Clips is debatable. You can argue Clips won. You can argue he won. Um, Ryder, he, he cooked Shotgun Shug. He cooked Shug. That's just some of the names. He has like another 10 names, bro. But some of them are just smaller. This dude had hella battles this year. Hella battles this year. He was number 20 on champion of the year last year. He will jump at least 15 spots for champion of the year this year. That is a crazy increase for a dude that never battled on URL, bro. To jump 15 spots. 15 spots he will he will jump. When all is said and done, I don't know how Jay Black and the rest of these niggas can sit around and come up with a list that don't have A-Ward in the top five. And last year, he was 20. This year, he will be top five, or it's a travesty. And uh, because some of his battles are one round, he couldn't get number one. I mean, I'm sorry. He just couldn't get Geechee number one. Geechee Gotti, man. Shout out to Geechee Gotti. I don't really know how Geechee Gotti is not going to win champion of the year. He has probably about two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least 12 battles. That's one battle a month. And I'm leaving some out because I know he battled in Atlanta in a one rounder and a couple other battles. So he has uh, at least 12 battles. But I argue he probably has about 16 if we being real. That is about eight more than easy to block captain who's also in the top five. So it's a big discrepancy in the amount of battles. A Ward, in my opinion, just doesn't have enough three round battles. And Surf only did enough. In the end of the year, I do not know how Geechee Gotti is not going to be champion of the year. And he started the year, he battled DNA, okay? He's beating DNA on the app. I actually thought DNA might have won that battle, even though Geechee was more memorable because the nigga kept calling him Gary, which was funny as hell. But he battled DNA. He battled Riggs in a tournament. He battled Swamp in a tournament, KCJ in a tournament, and Rum Nitty in a tournament. Four great opponents in a tournament. Is you off dope or dumb? Win this money if you want to, nigga. That's gonna get you real hurt. You see all my partners in the building ready for that drill work. You ain't gonna make it out this alive like a steel birth. Oh. Nigga, sounds to. <laughs> he battled Dre Dennis. He battled Mav Hoffa. He battled, um, he battled A-Ward in a rematch, and he battled Calico, and he also battled Loaded Lux. The fact that he 3-0 Loaded Lux in a lot of people's eyes 
I don't care that it was on the West Coast. I don't care that it was late. And oh, it was, you know, West Coast time. And, you know, luck, it would have been 10 o'clock. It would have been one o'clock in the morning if it was on the East Coast. Lux was tired. I don't care. I don't care about none of that, bro. They had all these advantages when they battled on the East Coast. I don't want to hear none of that now. The fact that he got one of the clearest wins on Loaded Lux, period. So a lot of people, he won every round. I don't think there's an opponent in battle rap that we can look at and say, yo, he beat he beat Lux all the rounds. You can look at Geechee Gotti and say that. That round makes up for the fact that I think Geechee lost to A-Ward to end the year. It makes up for that. And to me, when he beat Lux, I knew he was going to win champ of the year. It didn't, re it didn't really matter what he did at the end of the year. I knew he wasn't going to get killed by A-Ward. So all he had to do was just make the battle good. And that's what he did. He beat Mav. I got him beating Calico. Um, you know, Swamp, Casey J. Uh, the two on two, if we're really being real, him and Swamp was to me better than Easy and, 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 and Rock. So I got him winning the two on two, too. The DNA battle is debatable, but the app got him winning that. Rum Nitty wasn't really judged. Yo, this thing had a great year, bro. He had a great year. And the belt has, the champion of the year belt has been given out. This will be the fourth time, bro. And he's going to win three other belts. I keep telling y'all, Gucci Gotti is going to be, he's on an incredible run that will never be done in battle rap again, bro. It will never be done in battle rap. When you add the amount of battles he got, when you add the amount of battles that he has to also running a league, running a podcast, and just, you know, just popping out, showing up to events, messing with the fans. Geechee is dope, man. Geechee is dope, bro. Like, he's not too Hollywood. I be seeing him on live just answering all the fans' questions, bro. Like, he's just way not too, he's just not too Hollywood. I love that about him, man. So, um... Hopefully, I can get an untold truth with Geechee, man. I want to bring that to y'all at some point in time this year. But uh, Geechee Gotti, I feel like his run is unprecedented, and it just goes to show hard work pays off, man. This dude can, this dude has it all in battle rap. He has the believability. That's his best quality is believability. He has the bars. He has the rebuttals. Everything. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, shout out to Geechee. I got Geechee as the number one battler for 20 21. Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate the support. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel. I'll let you boy.